Hey guys, welcome back to the Girlfriends and Goals podcast YouTube channel. My name is Samaria and this is my best friend and co-host Miosha. Tonight we're reviewing Married at First Sight season 15 episode two, which was a little bit boring, but we're going to cover all the couples um, in this episode. If you haven't subscribed already, please go ahead and subscribe to our channel. We do these reviews every week, so go ahead and join us. And um, we definitely have podcast episodes that come out every Friday as well. All right, so we'll start with Morgan and Ben because there's literally nothing to say about them. Um, ben has COVID, and so they're not getting a wedding until I don't know when. I don't mm -hmm. know if we're going to see a wedding of them next week or if they're going to postpone it, but either way he has COVID so yeah the, and the only thing to add is that she immediately jumped to thinking he was faking COVID yeah which, you know I don't think that he is uh but um when he said that oh I've been doing everything to avoid this I'm like okay Ben you probably yeah. been out here in these streets <laughs> with no mask I know I did think it was sweet that after that <laughs> she after that she was like oh I hope he's okay um but I hmm. guess in a situation like that because it's so much pressure you can't help but think oh is this person getting cold feet you know mm -hmm. and you don't yeah. even know them so you don't know if they're reliable or not you know mm -hmm. okay so that was them um so Kristen and Mitch mm -hmm. is our next couple Mm -hmm. All right, so I'll tell you what I wrote down. I said, okay. I think Mitch is overcorrecting. So he he's going from none of my relationships have ever worked to I'll just jump into something permanent. And it's like, maybe see if something can work a little bit before mm -hmm. you go and get into this type of commitment, because it just seems like you're going from one extreme to the next, thinking that going to that other extreme will fix you. and it just won't that and he also said because it's a marriage there was a sense of like I can't run well you can say no on decision day no exactly. is always an answer so it's almost like he's doing it expecting like oh because I won't be able to get out of it but right you know. but you literally have an out in this process so so he what he did was the process that could give him the closest thing to an out like mm -hmm. all you have to do is spend eight weeks eight weeks married <laughs> mm -hmm. and then you're out it's not an actual commitment so yeah I, I don't have the highest hopes for that I thought it was funny when the lady cut his beard too. <laughs> that was that was that energy I was talking about last week I'm like there's something here where the brother was talking about maybe his patience or ways when he's put in situations like that so he mentioned a situation with the waitress or if they like get his order wrong and then another service where he's getting his beard cut yeah and he goes from zero to 100 now okay maybe he has wedding day jitters but even still it was not that serious but also why would you wait for the day of to do any type of maintenance like well most men will do their haircut and beard the day of it just seems so risky to me it is risky it is and like then as a woman with someone that you don't know yeah, I just, I can't imagine, um, like I would literally have a test run of hair before I got hair done, you know? Mm -hmm. So but I guess that's best being a man. Um, mm -hmm. The other thing was, I think she is so crazy for telling her dad last minute. <laughs> I just don't get it. Like, why do you think that's a good idea? Her you reasoning, know? not saying that I agree, but her reasoning was that okay, I pulled everyone into this destination wedding that fell through. And so she doesn't, I guess, want to do it again. But in that case, and you wouldn't invite anyone from your family, you just elope when it's already said and done. Yeah. So you still want them to participate in the wedding. So it's she's putting them and him in a spot of being ambushed. And I realized that he took a flight. I thought he lived there. Mm -hmm. Dad took a flight. He says, I leave in the morning what else is he going to do while he's in town? Even if he says no, he'll still be thinking, wow, my daughter is getting married right now. That just seems like such a bit, like, and maybe it's like a cultural thing for me, but <laughs> never in a million years would I think, oh yeah, the morning of, she already had her makeup and hair done, Miosha. She's about to walk down the aisle in five minutes and she's telling this man, 
I know. And he was sitting there looking like, what is going on here? And then it, it also makes me think too, I understand it's TV, but okay, he arrived somewhere, there's TV camera, she's made up. So then I started to think like, okay, did she tell him off camera? And then they're having to recreate the scene because I don't know how you explain all of that. Well, remember, so she told her friends that she was, she told him she'd be doing a, a matchmaking thing. So he knew mm-hmm. that there was something like matchmaking and um, production involved. And so that maybe explained the cameras. What, what do you think about her saying she equates being on the dating sites as almost being worse or equal to married at first sight? Girl, with her experience, it might be. <laughs> no, she picked the worst person. And then she, once again, she overcorrected both of them. Yeah. They, at least they have that in common. <laughs> <laughs> oh, but yeah, I like, maybe that that's true for her experience. Um, especially, let me see, how old is, is she? 32. So mm-hmm. I guess, yeah, she's kind of at that age where she probably has done all of the apps and tried several avenues and it just hasn't happened for her. But I, I don't know. I, I would disagree, but I think for her, it's probably true. What did she say? At least they do a background check. <laughs> right. But also, if she's seen other seasons of Married at First Sight, even with their background check, there have been things that have come up that either they mm-hmm. missed, like either their background um, check wasn't as thorough as mm-hmm. it should have been, or you know these people were just really slick, but it might have just been the show's background check not being thorough enough. So that and people misrepresenting themselves, For like sure. an Alyssa. For sure, absolutely. Uh, but yeah, uh, I didn't have much on them. Um, I'm glad that it didn't take her five years to find her dress like it did Lindy. But we'll get to we'll get to them in a second. Let's just run through Alexis and Justin, and then we can go to the two couples that have actual weddings this episode. Okay. All right. So <laughs> Alexis seemed really excited about being married to him. Yes, there was somewhat, I don't want to say energy shift because the first episode, she definitely wasn't putting him down or wasn't upset, but it was like she went from being lukewarm to like hot. Yeah, because you would expect the lukewarmness of it all. The luke (laughs) (laughs) of it all. Like you would expect that. The way she was on him, the way she was all into it. I'm like, okay. And it's the same night. Like, it's not even, like, we had a week between episodes. It was just minutes. Did she have some extra champagne? I don't know. You know, they actually looked really cute in their pictures. And I was like, maybe Justin's just, like, not um, good on video, but he's good on picture. Like, you know, you just never know. But they he's photo, he has he's a bit more photogenic. Yeah. The way they had them paired. Yeah. Absolutely. I'd agree. I, I saw a review where someone said that was a lot of teeth. Like they both have big smiles. So I think that also helps too. They both have really pretty smiles. But uh yeah, they were both very uh photogenic. Um yeah, so what I wrote down was that, yeah, she seems to be very hot for him now, beautiful pictures, but she was taken back about him not kissing someone, specifically the celibacy piece, mm-hmm. and I about fell out of my chair when she yelled at the crowd. I was mortified for him. It was giving, <laughs> me, li- that. It was giving me Lindsay last season, doing way <laughs> too much, girl. And then what's funny was like their reaction was the same as hers. They're like, oh. Uh, <laughs> Everybody was like, okay, this is great. I don't know that I would have that reaction, but um I wouldn't. Yeah. If anything, I'd say, okay, well, at least you haven't been out here too loosey goosey. Okay. And you know, you're out kissing him and all up in his mouth, and you just met him. So if anything, I I mean, people can say anything, but that would give me the feeling of, okay, well, maybe you've taken some time to yourself to to get yourself in the right headspace for one person. Yeah. So um, yeah, I don't, I was just kind of like, why? And then when she was like, oh. Well, I hope we're going to be able, well, you're married. Yeah. What, what is this, girl? That's what he's been celibate for. <laughs> but also, how long is this process? Because 
it doesn't seem that long. Like if he started the process, say maybe six months before, then that means really only a year before he started preparing for marriage in this way. Mm -hmm. So I'm just like, hmm. I guess it depends on what her activities are like too. You know, everyone has different preferences. So that might be like kind of far from where her headspace was during that time. Very so maybe that's why she was taken back. Like, oh, we may not be on the same wavelength. Yeah. In regards yeah. to that. But other than that, I like that he like continues to compliment her. You know, I, I oh. like it when men make women feel beautiful and secure and all that. He stuff. is head over heels, can't get enough. Okay. He was like, well, if if I was to describe, she is 100% it. I said, okay, you better let us know. <laughs> I love when they match people and they're like very into each other like that, like from mm -hmm. the jump. Uh, so I, I'm hoping in the previews, we haven't seen like terrible things for them. So I'm no. like, oh, maybe they're able to like work it out and, and see, but I'd be interested in seeing them for sure. Yeah, they they both seem kind of goofy too. Like, yeah. <laughs> like from that first conversation they had last week's episode after their wedding. Yeah, they definitely seemed at the very least like they will be great friends. Mm -hmm. The know? chest pumping. And she has a lot of male friends. So that's probably what we're sensing too. Like she knows how to get along with men in that way yeah we shall see all right well now we can go to the two weddings because after they showed um like Sasha and Nate's wedding and then went back into dress shopping I was like really like y'all yeah. are taking us all the way back but I want to start with Lindy and Miguel okay so Lindy tried on a million wedding dresses and I was just like girl just pick one and then to me a lot of them looked the same so when she would be like, oh, it's a step in the right direction. I'm like, ain't that the same dress you just had on, you know? So mm. that was interesting. I'm glad that I wasn't that bridal stylist helping her look. I do wonder, do the other brides try on just as many dresses, but they only showed her trying on a bunch? I feel like it had to be an overwhelming number for them to show her doing that much. Mm. Like it had to have been... Because I think even though they do exaggerate things, I think they, they still capture a little bit of what was going on. So like, if she hadn't tried on so many dresses, they wouldn't have had all that footage. Mm, okay. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. But yeah, so that was her for the wedding dress. But I kind of liked their wedding. Oh, I loved it. Yeah. I the whole interaction. Wedding. Yeah. That from when she was walking down the aisle, mm -hmm. her family seemed to be impressed, her embracing him and him embracing her right away. I loved their wedding. Yeah. Um, I think it may have been my favorite so far, at least the interaction at the alt altar. I think it may have been my favorite so far. Alexis and Justin are up there for me. I think mm -hmm. all three of the weddings that we've seen so far have been good. Yeah, they've been good. Yeah. But I think um, specifically then because they were really attracted to each other, like mm -hmm. especially, um, like you said, the families. But what really, what really kind of impressed me about them and made me feel like, okay, maybe there's a reason why the match happened. Um, they're both doctors in some compa mm -hmm. capacity. And then when they were talking about their schedules and he's like, oh yeah, I love travel. I just need Wi-Fi. And she's like, oh, I have it so that I work for a few weeks or a few months and then I take off for a few weeks mm -hmm. or a few months and travel and so I think that showed compatibility oh and yeah I think sometimes it can be hard to see the the experts like <laughs> why they match people or like certain certain things I feel like come up where we're like mm, that doesn't seem compatible like mm -hmm. in the past I feel like they would have matched someone who wanted to travel a lot with someone who's like trying to be stationary <laughs> and mm -hmm. so I really like that they have that in common um and yeah flexible yeah one interesting thing that she said though that I wrote down was that it was either her or her family but she said she's dated people who have stifled her womanhood mm. but I remember her also saying that she didn't want someone who she could just run all over because she's had that in the past so maybe she's had both um yeah. so that was just like an interesting statement to me that she made maybe she's had both of those experiences um I don't but know. I will say those two things aren't necessarily like the opposite of each other mm -hmm. you know like so if she's saying okay 
I couldn't be as ambitious as I want to be. Like you can be ambitious and still have someone who's also like very um, direct and, you know, Mm -hmm. is able to communicate what their desires are, who isn't letting you run all over them. You know what I'm saying? Like you, I don't think those are the complete opposite of each Mm -hmm. other, you know? So yeah, it, it didn't strike me, but yeah um I didn't have much else on them except the other than him quickly bringing out his Dungeons and Dragons oh yeah okay cube uh I think she took it very well or at least she put on that she Better did me. yeah no, she held it together last, last week I was like he's gonna have to like ease into that and <laughs> he said it. I feel like he had he tried to but it wasn't like he was so no. excited. Yeah, he did. He, he was just like, yeah, so we played this game and the characters. And she was like, okay. <laughs> All mm-hmm. right. <laughs> and we, and what did he say? We we rolled for you to see if you were going to be something. Like they were playing a game right before she, right before he walked down the aisle. I'm like. Girl, that was funny to me. And she's like, okay, well, he seems really into that. So I think that's a good thing or she's not completely put off by it, mm-hmm. you know? Um, so. And I, I think it's good, too, because she can't really tell. She just has that one interaction. Yes. I think when she's with him in the future, like, she'll see, okay, well, how much time are you actually spending? When he starts dressing up in character and stuff like that. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I have weekly meetings or I'm traveling to Dragon Con. Yeah. Stuff, so. But she also has her quirks. So, yeah, it could just work out. It could just be like magic (laughs) Mm -hmm. all right um so we are already at the last couple that's how that's how little they gave us this episode though you know like yeah at least given us one more wedding we didn't need to see her try on all those dresses we didn't need to see you know just like we could have skipped uh morgan looking for her dress because they weren't it wasn't going to lead to a wedding so okay married anyway all right (laughs) and i oh i do feel bad for them that they're not gonna have like the honeymoon as long as oh yeah as long yeah yeah he was out here in these those san diego streets <laughs> all right so we're, we're on our last couple which i feel like this was probably the most eventful thing of the night mm-hmm. and that's stasha and nate uh i really liked her mom's advice initially her mom said um first impression isn't always the best impression and she should like get to know him and give him a chance I really like that, especially in this type of a process. And I think that's the attitude that like Lindy went with when he pulled out his weirdness. She's like, okay, I'll give it a chance. Like whatever, you know, I'm married to him now. So yeah, I really loved that her mom gave that advice. Yeah. And her mom looked really beautiful too. They look like twins. Yeah. I mean, seeing her walk down the aisle what did you think of the time that Nate was waiting for her at the altar? <laughs> it was comedy. <laughs> so I don't even know. I don't even know how to take that. Like, I guess that's just Nate. I didn't think anything bad of it. It was just funny to me. Mm-hmm. So yeah. How about you? Yeah, it was. Um you know, we'll see. Maybe that's like the quirky comedic side of his personality. Mm -hmm. Uh, Yeah. So when he was with his friends, he again brought up the fact that he was a hustler, selling purses, bootlegging, whatever he was doing. In the past. And in the past, but this is where I just feel like certain things, like unless you want people to keep remembering that about you, and I understand that we all have a past, but I just kind of wish he would let that go because it's I already was feeling uneasy about him Mm -hmm. but him going on it like yeah I used to be a hustler you know I used to sell fake (laughs) purses it's like let it go you've said it I don't want that to cloud how I'm feeling about you it's just it's adding to me having an uneasy feeling about you in this process yeah it's definitely giving Olajuwon and Isaac vibes um but I will say (laughs) it's funny that you bring that up because he said you know right now he's in the place where he has the right people and the right mindset and I'm like okay we'll see like I want to believe that 
but then he called himself like a proper gentleman now and I was like you act like we don't have the bachelor party footage you know like that was not a gentleman do you have the right people because your friend girl during your wedding when they cut to her I didn't think anything of that I hope it was production. <laughs> I hope so too. I hope so too. You know what? Um, there was a lot of good advice and good things said during their like ceremony and before their ceremony. So one thing that Sasha said that I loved and agreed with was, you know, what I think is a wife could be different from what he thinks a wife is. So I need to take my time to figure that out. And I feel like that's a lot of where um, people make that mistake. Not Not just like single people, but even like, people who have already gotten married <laughs> like I have a friend who's like you know when they first got married his um his wife felt like oh no I should be the one who's like doing the cooking and I should be doing the this and that and he's like I'm a picky eater like just let me cook mm-hmm. for me and you cook and you're also a picky eater so it's like you cook for you let me cook for me and that's fine so I like that she said that um and hopefully we'll act according to that you know that's that's the hard part you can say that but then acting on it. That, and she mentioned that she's uh, used to being in control of every area in her life, which Mm -hmm. it's just always so interesting to me, the people who like to be in control of everything, they, you know, they like to say no. uh, And then they go sign up for this process. So it's like the one area, like one of the biggest decisions of your life. You can't pick the family you were born into. You can't even pick your kids, but you can pick your (laughs) spouse. (laughs) <laughs> so it's it's just so interesting to me that she has that personality but she's so willing to sign up for this process I mean I don't know I don't know that I get that she was so willing I think she just wants it done and feels mm-hmm. like I'm not doing it well maybe you know I do need to give up you, you know sometimes people know what their character flaws are and so they're trying to do a little bit better it's just that I hope it works out for her because Nate to me right now is just unpredictable. (laughs) He's just unpredictable is what I'll call him. Uh, I thought it was cute that they got each other the exact same gift, like the cameras. I'm like, yeah, that that felt a little produced. I don't know. Oh my gosh, Miosha. Were they both Polaroid? No. Okay, they weren't. Okay, then never mind. I thought they both were. (laughs) Maybe I, I saw it wrong. I'm like, oh, yeah, both bought each other a Polaroid brand? Yeah, it okay. was, they were just both cameras. I don't remember okay. what the other one. One was a, a Polaroid, but the other one okay. was something else. Okay. Um, you know, I liked their vibe at the um, at the altar. They were, like, joking with each other. It seemed okay. very, like, easy. Mm. You, you don't think so? Yeah, <laughs> I, I think it was easy. Okay. Uh, yeah. Mm. <laughs> I was I was wondering how she was gonna take when the family said that he was a freak in the sheets she was just like like she turned away from the camera so you re- but the other camera got her face <laughs> and so yeah we'll see yeah yeah I, first of all I don't know why these families bring up weird stuff anyway I feel like in Lindy and Miguel's wedding they didn't bring up anything crazy but definitely that's how it should be done right like in in Sasha and Nate's way like obviously you don't write something like that down and how would y'all know unless he's running back to tell you you know he is (laughs) you know he is girl okay so I I did write down that um I wished that Sasha's family would have talked a little bit more about like her personality or hobbies it just felt like they were running down like, oh, she, you know, a not a resume, but how Lindy's felt a bit balanced. Like, yeah, she's a doctor, but this is about her mm-hmm. as the person. So I wish they would have just given a, given a little bit more variety other than like, this is a list of things that she's done. Yes, but also that's a huge part of her probably. Like her personality is probably about my business. And mm-hmm. I loved his reaction. Remember last week I said, I think he's going to love her whole package oh yeah yeah yeah. Um, so I but I do appreciate you know that he's like go ahead girl like you know do your thing now hopefully that continues because it can be one thing to be 
far away and admire someone who you don't really know who's killing it. But when you get into those situations with them and your ego is at play and all that stuff. So I just hope that he keeps that same energy. But I like that he seemed very supportive and impressed by mm-hmm. her. Oh, you know? yeah. Impressed in not just the uh, accomplishments, but the body, too. I wrote down that he mentioned several times, like, oh, you yeah. know, she's thin, you know, she has a small waist, she's this, she's that. So you can definitely tell he's feeling her physically, too. Tall and thin, yeah. And I liked, um, so when they sat down, he asked, like, what she thought of him. And I think in previous seasons when men have done that, it seems like an insecurity thing. But it didn't seem like that. Maybe it was his delivery. It just didn't seem like, oh, I'm insecure. So I want to know. It was more like, are you pleased? Are you happy with me as I'm happy with you? (laughs) Yeah. I thought that she said that he was handsome at the altar. She said he looked handsome. Oh, okay. Okay. So maybe he just needed a little bit more reassurance because he was like, I'm feeling her. I hope she's on that same level. Because Olajuwon, I think, asked Katina the same thing. like, But it was very... um, (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> you like me <laughs> like, it's a little it's a little but his, there. <laughs> his energy is very intense so yeah so yeah. I I guess once the others get married we can give our predictions but I will say that so far I'm liking Stasha and Nate now I just have to he's he's the wild card you know um but yeah he did tell her like what he did for a living and it was fine. He seems very mm-hmm. confident in it. So I'm like, okay, maybe he is doing well for himself now, but. It- well, she's going to get to the bottom of it soon because I, I think I heard her say like, I'm the type to ask you your credit score on ah. <laughs> the first date just to get that out of the way. So yeah. even if he's not, I think she does seem like she would be just straightforward in asking the questions yeah. sooner yeah. rather than later, how she was like, oh, are you clean? <laughs> Girl, she was like, her house looks like a, a model home. I'm like, okay. Yeah. It's not going to take long, I don't think, with her personality, which I think could be a good thing. Yeah, because it's something that you need to know. Like, that's been, that was something that messed up one of the couples uh, a couple of seasons ago. Mm. And they just weren't the same financially. And it wasn't necessarily, we found this out after the season, but it wasn't necessarily that he wasn't making enough money. It was, she didn't like his spending habits um, in that, okay, if we have this bill coming up, don't tell me, oh yeah, go ahead and pay for it. And I got it later, you know? Mm. But, um, she also had her issues, but anyway, so yeah, I'm looking forward to um, the weddings being over and getting to the honeymoon so that we can actually yeah. have stuff to comment on. But yeah, yeah. that was it. That's it for this episode. All right, mm-hmm. you guys. Um, Thank you so much for watching. Please make sure you are subscribed. We're trying to get to 1,000 subscribers. So y'all see our numbers looking a little low. (laughs) Help us out. (laughs) And we'll uh, see you guys next week. Bye.